I'm Karina Gosling and I'm the Behaviour and Hub Manager at Commonweal School. My name's Rebecca Fiedan and I am the Senko at Commonweal School. My name is Jacob Johnson and, I am, and I'm in Year 9. Um, I am Ali Merck and I'm an Assistant Head at Commonweal School. My name's Kelly Gerdlestone and I'm a TA in Imsend. I'm Isma Harry and I'm in 11 WT. My name's Bob Linegar and I have the privilege to be the Head Teacher at the Commonweal School. My name's Willow Shusen and I'm in Year 7. My my name is Crystal Clifford Budden, I am the Assistant Senko at Commonweal and I also manage our SRP for children with physical disabilities. The Commonweal School's ethos is all in its name, Commonweal, Commonwealth, Common Good. Commonweal is a school in Wiltshire in Swindon. Um, it is a mainstream secondary school um, with sixth form and we have about 1,400 students within the school. We have 65 EHCP students at Commonweal and we've got two SRPs here, one for physical disabilities and one for specific learning difficulties. Our numbers for children with um, special educational needs and disabilities is well above average. And so I call us a community um, where inclusion is at the centre of what we do. We have a variety of students, different needs and working at Commonweal feels like a huge family working together. These projects uh, provide our students with the life skills that they're going to need to be independent, lifelong learners and play an active role in the communities that they work and live in. We've recognised as a school that we needed to look at transitioning young people into year seven from year six to make that journey um, as seamless as possible. We've recognised through our person-centred approach that we needed to look at key stage three and how we could raise aspirations and help young people to achieve um, a career goal or any personal um, aspirations that they may have and then also supporting the young people from key stage four into key stage five with post-16 education. So we ran a social emotional mental health project for year six students who were disengaged in learning or had um, mental health diagnosis um, and who may need extra support with coming into Commonweal um, in year seven. It was to help year sixes be more confident to come into year seven. So for people who have like anxiety like me or other problems that would stop them becoming more confident. We had a, two groups of eight students um, come in to Commonweal School in the summer term um, for two hour sessions for the last three weeks of the summer term and we worked on elements from Planning Live um, so we did Getting to Know You, um, they made cubes to say what their fears were about Commonweal School, what their worries were um, and we could address those before they went on summer holidays. So by the time they came in year seven, they were really ready, they knew the Commonweal way, and they were very excited to join our school. Uh, like there was one where we made this phone, and we had to put like our personality, and um, our pets, our family, and I had to draw an image of ourselves, and our friends from primary, and other things like that. Okay. And we wanted a student-centred approach for these young people to help them with their lifelong goals and to raise aspirations for young people with additional needs. In my case, every Friday I would come to Commonweal and I would be with Mr Mercer and he would do us like activities and we would get to know the other people in Planning Live so we had some friends when we got here. We wanted to make our annual reviews and our transitions to be more pupil centred. So this was really um, a way of doing that, a way of getting the parents and the students together so that we could get students' views and parents' views in a nice sort of relaxed atmosphere uh, with some structure to it. Because we were finding that we got to the Year 9 Annual Review, we started to have conversations about the Preparing for Adulthood Pathways and children and families weren't always ready to have those conversations. It still felt a bit too early for them. Whereas we know that working with children with SEND we need to start planning for the future a bit earlier than everybody else. After doing the Year 6 project we have found that Year 7 students really transition well into Commonweal and they don't receive behaviour points in the first terms um, and they really understand um, Commonweal and also they report that they feel excited to come, their worries and fears have been addressed before the summer term. It's good to know 
other things, personal things at home, like knowing their family motto, knowing what they do on a weekend, is really fab to find out. The, the point of, of planning life for us is to get children ready in terms of preparing for adulthood. And quite a lot of the time, those conversations happen around the child, um, whereas we wanted those conversations to be far more student focused. Planning Live is located in the hall. We're about there for about three hours. Uh, the parents come in with their children, a TA is assigned like a facilitator to that table helping to write down, helping to chat, making tea, having a, a lovely time talking about their children and what we can do to support them in their future life. Um, having those children be part of this process and having the sort of planning live um, booklet that they can then take away with them gives them a bit of a passport if you like to their future so they've got lots of information in there about what's important to them who their family are who their friends are who is paid to support them um, and they can take that with them when they go off post 16 when they have a college interview um, when they meet their paediatrician they can take that with them and it can be a bit of a passport to who they are and what they want and it helps children to have a clear voice when it comes to meeting um, professionals meeting adults in other settings and it gives them a bit of confidence in terms of explaining their needs and what they want and making sure that any conversations they have are focused around them it made me more confident to to go towards my dream there's key points in young people's journeys and it, we talk a lot about transition in year six into year seven and making that secondary experience positive for them but transition is seen in many different stages and so we've really focused on that within our school so planning life was a was a little event where teachers would would be with the the student and the student's parents to say what what career they would do in the future like a lot they would they would talk about what what what's about them and many other things their their family members their friends it was with my mum and I was sat with my key worker Miss Cooker and it helped me to plan what I could do and what sort of subjects I can do in college so, and I can talk to other people about my lifestyle. Because of planning life, my family knows that I want to become a gamer so they can support me and help me. Then in the future I will become one. And it makes me happy that I know I can do this and it gives me the confidence to build a CV and that I can do this my first. And it gives me the chance to meet new people that I haven't met before and just go with it and just be my happy, like I can be really happy and I know that I can do this. And to be quite driven by what the students wanted and what the students had in terms of their aspirations for the future. So what we decided we would do is employ that planning live approach, make the, the event very person centred um, and involve families and key members of staff with that but the young person was at the heart of it all. So we found that that gave them a real opportunity to have those conversations. Um, yes, it's in a school setting, but actually parents, um, some of the feedback we had, for example, from one parent, was that they felt that they couldn't have had that conversation around the dinner table. They had that conversation at school and it gave them a bit more of a focus um, and that child was able to talk really clearly about their aspirations and what they wanted for the future um, and it was quite driven by the child themselves um, and so that's why we think that approach is really important and works quite well. Um, we expanded this further because we then uh, brought into year six uh, we decided that the transition between year six and year seven would be a good idea and then we expanded it again because we decided that at year 11 it would be nice to bring in the colleges and have one um, so that the colleges could also be involved. So what we did um, with our current year 11 cohort is all those children that had been part of Planning Live in year 9 were invited to take part in a roadshow style event um, in order to meet representatives from post-16 provisions and also learn about apprenticeships so we invited in lots of post-16 providers um, such as Swindon College, Sirencester, um, Wiltshire College and Green Labyrinth 
um, and Catch-22 and they all came and they were part of um, the road show. Children were able to go uh, around and meet representatives from the colleges and talk quite confidently about the support that they need and the courses that they're interested in. And we also had a representative from um, the National Apprenticeship Service who gave a talk to some of our students and families were invited to be part of that as well. They look at their skills and how they would be good in a workplace. Um, they look at what they are, uh, what they enjoy at school, and how that might be useful in a workplace. Uh, and they look at what sort of courses would be available to them in order to use the skills to their best advantage. Uh, I think it was worth their time because they had that opportunity to speak for themselves and write down what exactly they want to do in their future life. It's given us a lovely opportunity to get to know children, uh, the students and parents, and what skills they have. Parents and students have all said that actually it's given them a, um, a context to talk about these things which they may not have talked about before. It's also, uh, it's also given them ideas about what they might want to look at in the future, what they might like to do in the future because it's looked at what skills they have and uh, what they enjoy doing. Um, so both parents and students have said that it's really benefited them in looking forward and how they might progress on from Commonweal. Planning life has supported students to realise what path they want to take, um, if it's university, if it's college, if it's sixth form, we've had students where we've made their part, created their path for them and gone into colleges with them and got them the right course, got them the right support, um, so we know that their happiness is the best thing. It, it kind of made me a little bit more braver and if, and if my parents know about my career, they'll, um, they'll, they'll probably try to help me. Um, I can speak to teachers and I wasn't as confident. Student-centred, finding aspirations, thinking about the future. In September 2020, I'm going to go to North Star or Swindon College um, to do childcare on a level two basis, which means that I can look after little children in um, nurseries or primary schools. Well, it meant that I knew how to make good friendships and I already had some friends for when I got here and it helped me control my anxiety a lot more and I don't have as many worries. And I can actually start conversations, but before Planning Live I didn't know how to speak to other people and start conversations. Thank you to the staff who have been running Planning Live. I would like to thank the young people for getting involved in all the projects that we have. Um, all the experiences have been very positive, not only with the young people but with their families. They've really embedded and taken on board what we're trying to do. And I think we're on a real positive journey that I hope continues um, for many years at Commonwealth. I'd like to thank Mrs Fight and Mr Mercer and Ewan for helping me come over my worries and helping me throughout Year 7. Uh, I would like to say thank you to Miss Fidan and my parents for helping me gain this confidence to actually speak to other people and that I can just be as happy as I can be. Thank you for watching this film. We hope you found it interesting. We'd really be interested as to whether watching this film has made you think differently about participation and co-production. If you are a professional, after watching this film, is there anything you will now change in relation to how you involve and listen to children, young people and parents within your own service area? We'd be grateful if you could please add your answer in the comments section below. If you are a parent, carer, child or young person, after watching this film, is there anything you would like to change in terms of getting your voice heard within the service that supports you? What could be done better? Please add your answer in the comments section below. Thank you.